Want to put up to $500 in your pocket? Then a hybrid vehicle is for you. Today on Weekend Mechanic, we'll take a look at the latest models. You'll be shocked the money you'll save. We'll also take a look at a battery that recharges at every stop sign. And discover the colorless, odorless element that's fueling this car. Coming up. Welcome to Weekend Mechanic. I'm your host, Bruce Bonebreak. Hybrid technology's been around for decades. A moped, that's a form of a hybrid. It uses pedal power and a gasoline engine. A train locomotive uses diesel power and electric engine. A submarine uses nuclear power and electric engine. Those are all hybrids. The hybrids has finally hit the car market. They have the gasoline engine and the electric motor. That's the difference between that and an electric car that we've commonly heard of in the past. An electric car really limits you how far you can drive the car before it needs to be recharged. The problem solved with a hybrid vehicle. There are some subtle differences between a hybrid vehicle and a conventional vehicle. Let's open hood and get started. To help us understand what a hybrid is, we have Jeff Keelan from Westside Honda in Knoxville, Tennessee. Jeff, hey, thanks Bruce. for joining us. I sure appreciate it. Okay, Jeff, we've got the hood open. We're looking at this. What are some of the differences between this and a non-hybrid vehicle? It's basically a 1.3 liter single overhead cam motor, a small version of the normal Civic motor. And then you've got the electric boost motor that kicks in when needed. So basically, the majority of the time, it'll be running off the gas engine. Correct. And then like high demand, like going uphill or when well, accelerate. First pull out, exactly. Uh, the electric motor kicks in. It'll boost up as much as eight horsepower when needed. And then when you begin coasting, for example, or let off the accelerator, the electric motor kicks out. So Jeff, when you, when you go to brake, doesn't that braking power, that energy from braking also help to charge the batteries? Yeah, that's one of the beauties of it. That's why there's no plug-in. Uh, the braking regenerates the electric charge. So if you've gone, for example, a long period of time uphill and run the battery down, as soon as you get into the brakes, it regenerates the power. You've always got electric boost available. On the Civic, the ultra-thin DC brushless electric motor is mounted between the gasoline engine and the transmission. It provides the extra power needed for startup and acceleration. During braking and deceleration, the electric motor acts as a generator to recharge the battery. Speaking of batteries, the hybrid car has two. The first being a standard 12-volt battery that powers items such as the lights, audio system ignition, and fuel injection. The other is a high-voltage battery that's stored in the intelligent power unit between the back seat and the trunk. Since the high-voltage battery is recharged by the generator portion of the electric motor, a hybrid car does not need to be plugged in, as some people think. All of the high-voltage power lines are clearly marked and protected by strong orange-colored shields. It's important not to damage or work on high-voltage power cables as they carry 144 volts or more. It's no accident that car makers are now converting their most popular models to hybrids, but the conversion involves more than just the engine. One of the things Honda wanted to do was to keep the weight down in the vehicle as much as possible. Uh, taking the sunroof out is heavy. The lightweight uh, alloy wheels, the electric power steering, all reduce weight in the vehicle. Aerodynamic features such as a rear spoiler reduce drag and thus improve handling and gas mileage. Are there any special concerns a person should have when they own a hybrid vehicle? I mean, is there anything they should, I mean, I, naturally the, the wiring, you want to be cautious of that, and they've got that labeled an orange, but is there anything, any special uh, need that the car would require? Yeah, you don't have to get gas as much. <laughs> well, that's, that's, that's a positive thought. Uh, no, really, it's, in the way Honda has designed these, it's basically a Civic. So the upside to it is uh, the service intervals are the same. Um, most of the parts, especially on the interior of the vehicle, are they're just Civic parts. Uh, there are very few, ex except for the IMA parts, that are not normal Civic parts. You can take them off the shelf from the parts counter and put them on either one. Jeff, I can't thank you enough for all your information. I really appreciate My it. My pleasure, Bruce. We'll get the load down on a battery that recharges by simply slamming on the brakes and see how it switches from electric to gas in a snap. Next on Weekend Mechanic. 